Oh, just got off work. Long day. Stressful day. And all I want to do now is go shopping for some movies. How's it going, everybody? Tommy Star here. Thank you for clicking on this video, Movie Tuesday. Again, it's been over a month or so since I did my last shopping video. But honestly, there hasn't really been a lot of big stuff that has come out. You know, a lot, a lot of big, big titles with exclusives and whatnot. And I haven't really picked up much um, for, I don't know, for the last week or two. So I figured, you know, it's time to go out. There is a big title coming out today that I am excited to get. I did see it in the theater. I'm excited to check it out again. And I know that there are exclusives of this title. Should be everywhere, Best Buy, Walmart, Target. So other than that big title, there's really not a lot of other stuff that came out today. Um, Supergirl season three hits Blu-ray and DVD today. I know that. But uh, no other real big uh, titles. So I don't know. Um, but either way, it's been too long since we've shopped together. So. Let's get out there, see what we can find. Those fancy new Targets. You guys show you guys something kind of funny. I was at my Target the other night, and uh, all I can say is, you, you know, I live very close to the uh, headquarters of this place, and I've been telling them for years, writing them letters, that you guys have to fix your sign because it's spelled wrong. They finally fixed it. Ha. Huh. Tar. Yay. Told you. <laughs> That's great. Whoa. All right, so here's their new release section here. So we got $26.99 here at Target for uh, Fallen Kingdom. I like that cover. We got we got a little digi pack thing here. What do you get? Exclusive 28-page gallery book with plus bonus content. That's kind of cool. So that's their exclusive. Looks like that is. What is it? Okay. Blu-ray. Oh, so it's 30 for the 4K. 28 for the Blu-rays. So I guess they got one of each. Same thing, I'm assuming. And then they do have this here. The complete collection. Slipcover, little dealio thing here. For, uh, that is 60. I don't know where, like, the standard 4Ks are. Because they have all these different prices up here. So a Blu-ray DVD, I'm assuming Digibook is $27.99. See, I don't know what the difference is between these two. It's like the same thing, so I don't know. But that's that's the big release of the week. I don't think there's really much else. Let's look around here. And on the other side. Oh yeah, this is new this week. It's new Keanu Reeves film, Siberia. I don't really know a lot about that. I knew that was coming out though. I love Keanu Reeves. What else we got? Oh yeah, this was new. This week, Supergirl season three. Can't remember if I mentioned that. But here's the DVD and the Blu ray of it. Just kind of love seeing this here. All this NECA stuff. Just so cool to see it in Target now since we obviously uh, don't have Toys Rust anymore. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, here's a little display thing up front. I got a few more copies of these Digibooks in here. I did see a 4K copy. There's a standard 4K. And that's 30 here. And then they do have some of the older films over here on the other side. 
so... Yeah, that little digipack thing is kind of neat. All right, so I'm out of Target. Didn't uh, find anything in there today, so uh, we'll see you over at the next location. Price books. It's been a while since I've been to this one. If you haven't noticed, that I'm actually over in a different location today. Had a doctor appointment out where I used to live, so hopefully we'll find something different out at these stores over here. for 40. <laughs> what the heck are they thinking there? That is insane. Wow. All right, we're out of half-price books, and yeah, we did find a pretty cool title in there. Well, I just dropped Jess off at her mom's. They are going to see Adam Levine tonight. She is like ecstatic. Yeah, she's in love with that dude. Thought she was in love with me, but apparently he's a little hotter than I am. So yeah, he's in town here tonight. Um, so it was a little uh, birthday gift from her mom. It's actually her birthday yesterday, so. Yep, so now I'm uh, all alone. I'm a loner now for the rest of this video. We'll see you at the next location. Right at our next location. That shizzle behind this. their new release section, so they obviously are a lot cheaper than uh, Target, 25 bucks. So they got the still book, of course. That is pretty bad, badass, it's got blue on it. So that one is 30, and then, what the heck is, some of this stuff is out of place. So, same picture on the 4K still book. And that one is 33. I don't know what this $50 is. This must be in the wrong spot. Um, what is that? I don't understand that. They do have these collections down here. They have a complete collection Blu ray still book for 58 That's cool. And then they have a. 4K one of all of them. Still book for 65. So uh, yeah, I don't know what this 50 dollar thing is. And then the uh, 4K standard 4K is 28. It's a little cheaper than Target as well. And they dip it out a 3D one. You don't see a lot of 3D copies anymore of movies. That one's 30. Well, like I said, that's about it. For new releases, let's look around a little bit more. So yeah, they do have the, the Blu-ray Supergirl season three for 38. Uh, yeah, nothing over here. There's their big movie next week. So do we. Oh, they still got some Ocean 8 still books left. Or what is this? Oh yeah, it's just a G-card on it. That was last week. I haven't picked that up yet. I probably will eventually. There you go. Right there, other new release section. They got a copy of Siberia 2. Same price, 15 bucks. I don't know. It's, it doesn't look that good. Although, like I said, I love Keanu Reeves. I only got some Nightmare Before Christmas still books down there. But of course, no Hocus Pocus. This came out last week. Christina on 4K. Not a bad price, only 20 bucks. Probably will get that eventually. Ooh. They do have some quiet place still books. Wow, they must have got some more in or something. Wow. 
Ooh, ooh. I might have to get up on there. Just looking at all those steel books that this time you guys bought my last viewer update. They're like fully stocked of all of them here. The only other one that I was kind of thinking about grabbing is the eye robot. That's kind of a cool looking one. And then, you know, they got the Taken one, all three films. This one's pretty cool too, Fight Club. And then, what else do they got? They got a Day After Tomorrow. That's cool looking. And then, like I said, they all have the Predator. For the movie, the Predator, uh, Cash, movie Cash. So. All right, we're out of Best Buy. Found all sorts of goodies in there. Oh yeah. Oof, uh, well, it was pretty cool that we got to see, uh, you know, Target and Best Buy's exclusives. Um, hopefully Walmart has theirs. We're gonna head over there now. I think they got like some kind of a gift pack or something. I don't know. Maybe it comes with like a toy or something. I thought I seen that, but we'll oh, see you over there. At our last location. Wally World. These exclusive Venom pops up here for the new movie Venom. Check this out. We got one that's like Captain America. <laughs> and like Iron Man. But they got like all these movies that give you uh, Venom cash. But from looking at it, it looks like basically everyone here is DVD. Except for like a Spider-Man down there. That kind of sucks. But it would have been cool with a uh, Blu-ray. We're at the new release section. And I'm looking here and I see this big spot here. I'm thinking this is probably where their exclusive was. For 25 but obviously they don't have any. So that sucks. But it looks like their 4K is the cheapest on everywhere. 27 And they do have these still books too. So apparently... I don't know, apparently it wasn't an exclusive at Best Buy. They have that for 60, 47 for the Blu-ray one. That looks to be a little cheaper than um, Best Buy. What is this? Oh, just a big, regular DVD set. So, uh, you know, we got 18 on the DVD, 25 on the standard with the blue with the slip for Blu-ray. So, be about the same. So let's see what else we got new. So they have Siberia. This will be 18. A little bit more than Target Miss by. This movie Silencer with Danny Trejo. I think that came out today for 15. Um, this down here. This haunted asylum, one of the freakiest places in the world. I don't know what that is. That is going for 15. What's this? Fahrenheit 451. Michael B. Jordan and Michael Shannon. That looks kind of cool. And then we have a couple things down here. Billionaire's Boys Club. Billionaire Boys Club. Saving Faith. Games of. Which DVDs? I don't know. Alright. Well. Seems to be about it, I guess. Look around a little bit more. Look at this. Check this out. I've never seen this in one of Cool Dooter's uh, videos. Predator World with Sean C. Phillips. He's actually credited on the front. That's cool, but yeah, he's in this movie. I almost want to buy it just because of that. If I'm right, he said that this was like one of the last films he did where he was um, at his heaviest or whatever. That's cool. I don't know, I almost just want to buy it because of that. <laughs> Some Predator ripoff, that's great. This came out like a week or two ago. I want you to be my neighbor. This documentary on Mr. Rogers. I, I really want this. I want the Blu-ray though. Um, I haven't seen the Blu-rays in stores. I'm thinking that like, that might be an online only thing. All right, well, we're out of Walmart. Didn't find anything in there. So, uh, that'll wrap it up for today. Let's get home and take a look at the All videos. right, guys, we're back home. And uh, really good day, actually. I found some things at Best Buy that I wasn't expecting to find. And uh, 
some good stuff. I didn't get anything at Target, nothing at Walmart, um, but I did get one thing at Half Price Books and the rest at um, at Best Buy. A couple things, like I said, I weren't expecting to find, and then a few titles of some recent releases that have come out in the last few weeks that I just haven't gotten around to buy but wanted to. So uh, let's take a look at what we picked up today. So I'll show you what I picked up over at Half Price Books. Got Kate Fear. Uh, I remember my buddy Craig just opened, did an unboxing thing on his, on Facebook. Somebody uh, had sent this to him. Uh, uh, one of the guys in the, one of the Facebook groups that we're in sent him a copy of this movie that he's been looking for for a while. And uh, I have myself. And uh, I seen it over there at Half Price Books. It was cheap. I think it was like only $8 or something. But uh, that was cool to find that over there because I've been looking for this for a while as well. So... Cave Fear, really cool Robert De Niro film. So, all right, now we'll take a look at what I picked up over at Best Buy. First one up here is Still Book for Kingsman: The Secret Service. I haven't seen this at Best Buy before. Maybe a long time ago when it first came out, because it does look kind of familiar. Um, but cool looking Still Book. Uh, looks like one of those Project Pop Art ones. Let's look at the back. Um, I was looking for more DC Marvel Still Books for the collection, and this, of course, being a Marvel title. Um, so I thought that was badass. Had to pick it up. It was like uh, eight bucks or something. Next up here is I got the Shout Factory still book for Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I remember buying this when it first came out and then I ended up returning it. I, I just, I decided against it because I already have a Bill and Ted still book. But then I noticed that Shout Factory is releasing Bogus Journey um, still book as well that basically matches this. Um, and when I seen that, I'm like, oh my God, I, I got to get that other one again. So, um, I had to pick it up. It was, it's still like, it went up to like $28 at Best Buy. I think it was like 17 when it first came out, but I price matched it to Amazon for, I think like 20. So, but I had to get it. I love this still book. It is so cool looking. And then now having bogus journey to match it. So awesome. Picked up another still book and that is a quiet place. Cannot believe that I seen those there, you know, these were gone pretty quick um, when this movie first came out, and I had never seen them again. But they must have got some more stock in or found a box <laughs> hidden in the back room or something. But I always wanted to get this still book. It's just so cool looking. Um, if you notice, I've already opened up all these still books to look at them. But there's the back. So cool. And this, uh, you know, this like scrape here is like embossed. Um, or I, should, I guess I should say uh, debossed. But. I, I love the movie, and I just thought the still book was too badass, so I'm happy they had it there. Also picked up Tag. Been wanting to get this since it came out. Just looks hilarious, you know, based on this true story of these guys that have been playing Tag since they were kids. Um, this, like, ongoing game of Tag since they were kids. Um, so I finally picked this up, like I said, it came out a few weeks ago and just hadn't got around uh, to buying any new titles that I, you know, planned on getting, so I had to pick that up. And then I also picked up Hereditary on Blu-ray. Another one I've been wanting to get since it came out. This one, both of these, I think, are just in the last couple of weeks. But this looks badass. I'm excited to watch this, and I'm, I'm glad I finally was able to grab it. And, of course, the big release of the week, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. This movie was a lot of fun. I saw it in the theater with the kids and Jess. It wasn't as good as I hoped it would be, but it was still pretty, pretty cool. I just went with the standard Blu-ray edition um, to match all the other ones I have with slips. I didn't really, I mean, the, the still book was cool looking, but wasn't too crazy about getting that. I mean, I don't have any still books for any of the other ones except for part one, but um, I just went with this one. It's cool looking. So yeah, uh, looking forward to checking it out again. So I might even watch it with my uh, stepdad tonight. He's excited to, to watch it. So yeah, uh, too bad there we couldn't see Walmart's exclusive. Maybe I'll check another one tomorrow or something um, just, you know, to see in person. But like I said, it was some kind of a gift pack thing or something. I, I don't know. But either way, uh, I'm happy uh, with this edition. All so. right. So not a bad haul this week. It was fun getting back out there. You know, I haven't gone shopping in so long. You know, I've been busy with a lot of things. I haven't really had a ton of money, but... Happy to go out there today and uh, pick up some, uh, you know, some cool releases. So, 
That'll do it for today, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the like button down below. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys think of the pickups. What did you get this week? What did you go with for uh, Jurassic World? Share the video around and subscribe if you have not. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.